गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स डियर स्टूडेंट एज यू ऑल नो दैट वी आर गोइंग थ्रू आवर चैप्टर सिक्स मेन सेक्टर ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी एग्रीकल्चर डियर स्टूडेंट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन वी स्टडीड अबाउट मेन सेक्टर ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी आफ्टर डैट वी स्टडी मीनिंग ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर ओके देन आफ्टर डैट We study role of agriculture. Dear student, today we will discuss about causes of low productivity or problem of Indian agriculture. And we generally divided this topic into three parts. First is general factor, then institutional factor, and the last one is technological factors. Okay, dear student. So let's start with our today's topic, which is all about causes of low productivity and problem of Indian agriculture. Dear student, you all are familiar that the contribution by agriculture sector in our GDP is around thirteen percent, but the workforce engaged in this sector is highest as compared to all other sectors in the economy. Dear students, so there are so many causes related to the productivity in this particular uh, uh, sector. Okay, dear students. So let us continue. That although there has been a significant increase in agriculture productivity in India since nineteen fifty, it is very low in comparison of other countries. Okay, dear students. For example, productivity of wheat in India is Three thousand two hundred sixteen kg per hectare in two thousand seventeen, and similarly in the same year two thousand seventeen in China and Egypt it was around four thousand nine hundred ninety five kg in China and six thousand five hundred sixteen kg in Egypt. So you can see the variation that in India the production is around three thousand. Two hundred sixteen kg, and in China it is around four thousand nine hundred ninety five, and in Egypt it is around six thousand five hundred fifteen. So there is a huge difference. Likewise, productivity of rice in India is two thousand five hundred fifty kg, as against six thousand seven forty four kg in China and five thousand three hundred ninety one kg in Japan. So you can see that in uh, production of rice also the productivity is less as compared to the other countries like China and Japan. similarly in the case of case of most of the other crops dear student now the main reasons or the main factors for the low agriculture productivity in india is generally categorized into three part first the general factor then second the institutional factor and the third one is technological factor so let's start with our general factor dear student in general factor first factor is heavy pressure of population on agriculture dear student as you all are familiar that india is second most uh, populated country in the world after china so in india most of the people are uh, dependent on agriculture sector only okay that's why the real problem of indian agriculture is that there is increasing pressure of population on agriculture okay dear student there are too many people dependent on agriculture in india about 43% of the labor force so keep in mind that around 43% of the labor force depend on agriculture so you can see that the contribution of agriculture sector is only 13% in our gdp gdp means gross domestic product the total productivity in a country it is known as gdp so the contribution by agriculture is only around Thirteen percent, but the workforce engaged in agriculture is around forty-three percent. So this is the matter of concern that most people are still engaged in the agriculture activity, but the contribution by the agriculture in our GDP is only thirteen percent. So we can say that. consequently the size of holdings is decreases okay people have less holdings of agriculture uh, in our country for example between 1901 to 2008 per capita cultivated land has declined by a yeah, decline from 0.43 hectare in 1901 to 0.143 hectare in 2014-15 so you can see that the per acre hectare or the per hectare cultivation 
is decreases between 1901 to 2018 although the production if you talk about the production the production increases in the recent uh, one decades the production increases in our country he as compared to the pre independence period the production also increases in our country but still it is a matter of concern that mostly people are still engaged in agriculture activity our next point is discouraging ruler atmosphere this is also an important point dear student indian farmers are generally illiterate ignorant okay superstitious and conservative they are bound of outdated customs and institutions such as caste system joint family system etc their blind faith in social custom tradition and fatalism keep them satisfied with the old method of cultivation so dear student as we all know that our farmers is still using old method of cultivation they are still using the seeds which they have grown in their field they still uses uh, uses the uh, old method of cultivation okay so they must have to use uh, tractors or hyv seeds or new fertilizers in their agriculture field but still there are so many farmers because of poverty because of illiteracy or because of lack of fund they still using the same cultivation method which they are using in before pre independence period so dear student there must be need to look after in this particular matter okay now go through with this beside the presence of manual bitterness and group conflicts among them unusually lead to litigation under such a discouraging atmosphere there is no possibility of agriculture development so because of this discouraging atmosphere of the rural area yeah the agriculture in the rural area or agriculture in our country is backward okay or the productivity we can say the productivity is decreases second point is institutional factors there dear student there are so many institutional factors the first one is size of holdings so you can see that the average size of holding in india is very uneconomic okay this is means the average person which the person which have the agricultural land so the average size of holding in india is very uneconomic it is less than 2 hectare or per acre as against 122 hectare in usa so you can see that in usa if a person is farmer he have 122 hectare of agricultural land but in india most of the people have only 2 hectare of land so this is a matter of concern that the holding size holding of the uh, agriculture land is less as compared to other country so 3/4 of the total holding in india are less than 2 hectare in certain part of the country the plots of land are too small to cultivate not only are agriculture holding small but they are fragmented too like you can see in the mountain area in the mountain reserve people are using step by step agriculture method and the holding of agriculture land they have is too small as compared to the plain area okay and in the plain area we know that we have a joint family system so our agriculture land divided as according to the family so that's why the per unit availability of the land with per individual is less as compared to the big countries okay dear student so there also lead to quarrel and quarrels and consequent litigation among farmers as a result of small holdings scientific cultivation is not possible because of the small holdings okay dear student so this is first institutional factor which is size of holding matters in the productivity of an agriculture next is land tenure system you all are familiar with this particular system that land tenure system before independence agriculture productivity was adversely affected by the system of land tenure okay in this particular method if there is a big farmer then he can rented his land to other small farmers they cultivate in that particular land and then some then after that after the production they give something in return which is known as rent so they the owner of the land charges high rent from the cultivator from the tenant that's why this particular system is also one of the reason for low productivity of agriculture so you can see that under it there was no security of tenant the tenant 
could be turned out of the land at any time as and when the landlord desired there were charges high rent for the use of land even today the position of tenant is quite unsatisfactory they have to pay high rent for the land they cultivated as i told you and have no security of tenant under this conditions the cultivation do not take much interest in any improvement of land to increase agriculture productivity because they have the small ag- holding uh, similarly they are paying rent in a huge amount that's why they are not interested to grow the agriculture productivity or through the improvement of the land okay because they their land is already a rented land that's why they are not interested now our next point is technological factor dear student if we talk about technological factor then our first method is all old method of production that is still our farmers using old method of production that is still they use wooden plow spade hoe uh, sickle etc majority of the farmers have failed to make use of modern implements such as tractors plumping sheds or threshing machines etc which are widely adopted in western countries only in recent years our farmer have started using their these implements okay to a limited extent so that's why this is one of the first technological factor that farmer are still using old method of production they must have to use the new method of production second one is lack of irrigation facilities this is one of the main reason that our indian agriculture is totally depend on the monsoon season that mostly of our agriculture is depend on monsoon season so if some year monsoon is good then the productivity is good and if some year is monsoon is not good then the productivity is so less so that's why irrigation facility is also important for the uh, good productivity okay you can see that irrigation is most essential for healthy growth of crop we do not have adequate irrigation facility in india at present nearly 40% of the total cultivation land is irrigated here rest of the land has to be depend on agric rainfall which is most uncertain and irregular that is why indian agriculture is called a gamble on monsoon okay dear student that's why i told you in the starting of this point that our agriculture mostly our agriculture is depend on monsoon season okay in the absence of irrigation facilities our farmer hardly grow one crop a year not only that chemical fertilizers and hiv seeds cannot be effectively used as a result per hectare yield of india remains at the low level okay dear student next point is lack of good seeds again seeds is the most important input in farming non availability of good seeds have has been one of the drawback of our agriculture besides improved seeds are very expensive our farmers cannot afford to buy them okay because of they are uh, because they are of high prices so that's why it's not possible for our farmer to afford that hiv seeds so that's why this is also a reason that lack of good seeds next is lack of manure and fertilizer dear student still our farmer are using that cow dung as a manure they are not using the chemical fertilizer or the other fertilizer from the industries because these are too expensive as compared to the cow dung so our farmer still using cow dung in their agriculture land so this is one of the reason of low productivity that if farmer start using good fertilizers if they start using the uh, hiv seeds and the uh, new quality of a uh, new type of fertilizer chemical fertilizer in their agriculture land and surely their agriculture productivity will increase okay next is agriculture finance this is also an important point dear student that in the rural area there is a lack of agriculture finance that indian farmers have always been in handicap for want of funds in their eff- efforts to increase production and productivity they require funds to purchase sheds cattle pumping sheds tube wells tractors threshing machines etc for their cash requirements they mainly depend on village money lenders who always exploit them okay these money lender charges high 
very high rate of interest and cheat the illiterate and innocent farmer so this is one of the most oldest uh, technique which is using that in agriculture financing we are still lacking behind that like we have the uh, uh, government bank bank we have the agriculture bank but still because of the paperwork because of lack of the knowledge still our many farmer is totally depend on uh, money lenders and these money lenders charge is high rate of interest from them so this is also a drawback of low productivity in indian agriculture so that's it for today student thank you so much we will meet in our next video and we will go through with the impact of agriculture practices on ecosystem <clears throat> thank you student stay healthy stay safe